it's the year 2024. This is the first story time of 2024. Ain't y'all excited for what's to come next year, y'all? <laughs> but anyway, y'all, I'm about to tell y'all this story about how this boy stole my address from one of my boyfriends in jail and then got mad because I didn't want to talk to him. And then he shot at us, y'all. But of course, I got to tell y'all the story of how it led up to that and all the different crazy things that happened in between, y'all, because this story is really juicy. So make sure y'all stay tuned until the end. But before I start, make sure y'all smash that subscribe button if you knew what's up, how y'all doing. Hey, girl, hey to all my OGs and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment because... Like, what would you do in this situation if you just, like, somebody starts shooting at you? Like, what is you about to do? Like, anyways, y'all, so dude, we're going to call him Jamil, is the person who shot at us, right? So my friend who was in jail, his name is Momo. We're going to call him Momo. Okay. So y'all, Momo and Jill, and you know, um, when you got a boot thing in jail, you know, you writing them back and forth. You know, you talk to them on the phone. And it's crazy because it's a lot of dudes in there. Like the city really small, like the bay really small, like people know people and it just is what it is. But mind y'all, I never met Jamal, which is the crazy dude, a day in my life. Maybe I crossed paths with him kind of sort of lightweight, like in the hood, but I never like really knew him enough for him to go in Momo's locker, y'all at the jail and steal my address <clears throat> excuse me so mind you like when you writing somebody who in jail is already kind of weird like your address is technically floating around so i'm young at the time i'm like 16 17 and i'm just like okay so i'm talking to my boo and he writes me y'all and then i get a second letter so i'm like okay this dude didn't wrote me two times in one week he must be missing me oh okay my last letter must have been good no, y'all, this um mail say it's from Jamal Andrews. We go his last name Andrews, okay? Whatever. So I opened this letter from Jamal Andrews, and it's like, baby, um, I know I, I'm so glad I found your address because the day that I saw you, I knew you was gonna be my wifey. And when I get out, I'm getting out before your nigga so I can take care of you before your nigga get out. And I'm like, um, it's giving kind of weird. <laughs> like, you just stole my address. Now you telling me you can do better than my nigga. And my nigga, my nigga for a reason at that time, because like I'm young, he lit and I'm lit. And you know, this the lit channel and we got to stay lit. So of course I'm only going to be talking to somebody who lit. And really, to be honest, Jamal, sweetie, like when I met you, if I thought you was lit, then I would have talked to you. But I didn't think it was lit. So <laughs> the answer is no. But y'all, so I'm reading this letter and I'm trying to tell my best friend, like, girl, Jamal didn't roll me from jail. Like, this is crazy. Like, I'm scared. OK, because like, what if he comes stalking me when he get out of jail? <laughs> y'all. And of course, that's what he did. OK. So, hold on, I'm going too fast. So, you know Momo in jail. And I'm telling Momo, like, hey, you better check Jamal while you in there. This dude didn't rob me and it's giving schizo. Like, you better handle that while you up in there. Because, I don't know, he getting out before you and I'm scared. And you better beat that nigga ass while you in there. And I don't care. I'm sorry, I'm cussing. Because this story really crazy. <laughs> hey, you cannot bleep the words out to this story because it's really crazy. But anyway, so I'm telling Momo, like, you better get up on him. Like, whatever. So some time go by and me and my best friend at this point, like we on guard. We like, okay, he told him, uh, told me, uh, Jamal told me in the letter the date that he getting out. So we is aware that he is going to be getting out and he's going to be in the, in the hood at this time. So, you know, when you young, you always outside. Like we was outside, we was lit, we was popping, we was outside, we was kicking in, we was little tomboys, you know, like whatever. And y'all, okay, so fast forward, dude gets out. Mind you, we ain't see him after, you know, that release date. He just didn't pop up outside just right on the release date. He waited some time. <laughs> like, he crazy because he waited some time. <laughs> Yo, why one day me and best friend is coming home from school, y'all, and we gets off the bus. Like, okay, so in the Bay, the buses was AC Transit, was our school buses. They wasn't like the yellow bus. Like, we had the AC Transit, and it was cracking on the AC Transit back then. Like, if you're from the Bay, you're from Oakland or Richmond, you was on that AC Transit going to school. I don't care what you're talking about. But anyways, y'all, let's keep going. So we get off the bus, and best friend like, bitch. Oh, 
who is she like? Best friend, like, girl, 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 he right there. And I'm like, girl, who there? Like, mind y'all, okay, so back in the day, I don't know if y'all remember the MP3 players, but before we had iPhones and phones that played music, we had iPads and MP3 players, y'all. So I'm on the MP3 player in one ear, probably listening to like chairs or something like that. So, um, I know y'all know who Cherish is. I can't think of one of their songs, but, um, feeling really unappreciated. You're taking my life for granted, babe. I don't know how much more. No, that's Cherish, y'all. So that's unappreciated. But anyways, so best friend, like, um, girl, dude. And I'm like, girl, and I'm just like shocked y'all I, I i thought i'd seen a ghost because i was like i thought i seen a ghost because i'm like what is he doing here uh so at this point i just keep walking like i don't see him i'm like come on best friend like come on we love you know that speed wall you know you gotta get past the crazy people and get to your house and i'm walking and he like hey yo telly i know you don't you you gonna act like you don't see me it's jamal hey what's up and i'm just like oh hi um, we gotta get to the house. My mama, she gonna be calling in a minute. We gotta go. And I'm like, best friend, come on. And my best friend, like, girl, he crazy. You better say hi to him. Cause what if he starts to like breaking the door to the house when we go in the house? Cause you didn't say nothing. So at this point we young y'all. Okay. Like all BS to, to the side. Like we was really scared. Cause we was like, we don't know what this dude is capable of. Like he already just stole my address from jail, girl. Like what else is he capable of? So best friend was like, come on, let's just go across the street. Let's just go say hi. You know, like, you know, keep keep the drama down. You know, just acknowledge him. Cause you know, when you ignore dudes, they get to they get to acting crazy. So we go across the street and I'm just like, hey Jamal, like, you know, you got out. <laughs> like, oh, you look good, your outfit cute. Like, okay. Um, so um, you kind of like stole my address from jail. So I want to know what you're talking about. Cause my mama was tripping cause you stole my address. And I definitely told my mama and my grandpa and them and my stepdaddy and them. So you better leave me alone. Cause y'all know me. I don't hesitate. I don't sugarcoat. I don't bite my tongue. Boy, you crazy. And I'm gonna tell you that you crazy. And this is how crazy he really was y'all. Why he started laughing at me? <laughs> he tell me I was crazy. He like telling you crazy. Like you really going off on me, girl. Like I'm just trying to talk to you. I think you pretty and I'm just trying to see what's up. And I'm like, okay, sweetie. Well, there's a way that you could have went about that. Like, I know you see me in the hood. I see you. You know, when you got out, you could have tried to talk to me then. Like you can't be stealing my address and you can't just be writing me like that, boy. My mama, she crazy. So don't do that again. And I'm like, don't be popping up over here like my stepdad. He like really crazy. So you be like, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> like I'm trying to talk calm. Cause really he like, he was like a dark, Jamal was like a dark skin, tall. Like he was, I'm sorry. He was not cute. He was not attractive. And like I said, I only mess with lit dudes. Cause this is the lit channel. And I'm lit. And he was just not giving lit. Like, he was kind of giving, like, dusty boy. Always wore a black hoodie. And he was just, like, hella dark skin. Like, hella scary looking in the face. Like, I'm sorry. God forgive me. But I'm just saying. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Okay, so, y'all. And he's just like, you know, my bad. Like, that was kind of disrespectful. I ain't gonna do it again. But, you know, like, I like you. Let me take you out on a date. And I'm like, okay, boy, well, my mama, she calling me, so I got to go in the house. So I'm going to think about it, okay? I'm going to let you know. And he like, oh, Telly, don't play with me because you know I'm crazy. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I grab his friend like, girl, come on, let's go. Hurry up. So we like book into the house. Girl, we like, okay, so the house like maybe a block down from where we get off the bus at, y'all. Maybe like a block and a half. So I'm like, girl, come on. Don't look back. I'm like, don't look back because if you look back, he going to think we still try to talk to him. <laughs> And I'm like, best friend, come on. Girl, like, girl, come on, girl. Like, you tripping. Like, what the heck? Oh, y'all. Okay, so we get in the house and we just like, oh, my God. Like, this dude is really crazy. And best friend is like, you casting spells on these dudes out here. Like, you better be careful. And I'm telling her, like, girl, we never acknowledged him to the point where he, I could have even transpired to him that I wanted to talk to him. Okay? So I don't know what you talking about, girl, but I don't want him. He's scary. So, okay, you know, y'all know my stories. They always lead up to something. So, 
okay a couple days go by y'all and my mom was like okay y'all can't go outside for a little while because you know i'm not feeling it you know you know my family from the south if something pop off you know we popping off so moms did not let us out the house we was like on lockdown because he was crazy it was like we was teenagers we was like girl let us out of this house girl like we are going outside so while we go outside like a couple days later like we couldn't take it no more so we was kind of scared so we did stay in the house but we went outside. So we was on the south side of Richmond. Y'all, I just told y'all where he from. Jamal crazy because he from Richmond and Richmond dudes. It's crazy. Period. I don't care what y'all talking about. But anyway, y'all. So we outside on the south side and um, we is in the hood. And I'm with my girl and he like pulls up on us in the car. How does he know I'm over here? I don't know. Like it was getting kind of weird to where like he was like jocking me and it was weird. So one of my friend's house at the time whose house he was in, we gonna call her Peaches. So we was at Peaches house and her mama and her aunties and all them over there. And I'm telling moms like, you know, this is my friend. I'm telling moms like, hey moms, um, this dude that just pulled up. He been stalking me and I give her like a brief description. Like he stole my address from jail. He crazy. I don't know how he found me over here. Mom's like, I would never invite no dudes to the house. Like we just chilling outside. Like that's not my stilo, right? So mind you, my friend Peaches, she a little older than me. She like a year older than me. At this time, we like 16, 17. So I think we like in what? 11th grade at this time. And she's like a senior. So she like dude. She, he pull up and Peaches is like, oh, can I talk to him? And I'm like, what? Did you not just hear me say he was a stalker, dude? And Peach is like, no, I don't think he is a stalker. I'm going to go say what's up because he pulled up to my house. So I'm going to go see what's up. And I'm just like, girl, okay, well, you know, you crazy. But just don't get hurt if you walk up to the car because he crazy. So mind you, best friend, like, nugging me. And I'm like, girl, why are you always nugging me? <laughs> like, what do you want? <laughs> just kidding. It's be a bad she can nug me. <laughs> And she like, girl, this might be a good thing, you know. If she start talking to him, she can distract him. So let her talk to him. So I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. Girl, you can have him. <laughs> Please get him off my back, girl, because I don't want him. <laughs> so I guess, long story short, fast forward, my friend Peaches start sliding on dude, whatever. That's not my business. He leave. So I thought dude was going to leave me alone, y'all. But he, like, kept popping up places. Like... How do you even know I'm over here? So now we on the other side of the ridge, right? And I'm not going to tell y'all the locations because I don't know if people from the Bay over here watching, but y'all just know we was on the other side of the ridge. We was on the other side of the train tracks. So if you know what the train tracks is, then you know we was on the other side of the town. I don't know why we was over there. We was just being fast, but we was over there. So at the time, um, best friend live over there on the other side of the train tracks. We're not going to say the location, right? And... We all outside chilling at best friend house. So fast forward, this is days that go by, right? He's still like popping up places, trying to talk to me. Mind you, he's sliding on my friend and it's just giving you weird. Like, why are you still trying to talk to me, but you talking to my friend? Like, boy, what are you doing? So y'all, he comes in. We outside, like I said, I'm on my friend's house, just outside chilling. It's one of them days, right? So back then, y'all, her older cousin was staying with her. So like older, older, I mean, like at the time, like maybe 35, 36, she had a Benz. So we used to go tack out the Benz in front of the house because, of course, we sneaking, smoking already in front of the house. So we in a car. <sighs> y'all, okay, on some serious stuff, this Benz, this Mercedes Benz saved our life. And I'm going to tell y'all how this Mercedes-Benz saved our life that day. In Mercedes-Benz, they have bulletproof windows, y'all. So if it wasn't for the bulletproof windows, who knows right now? Like, like I don't know, y'all. Could maybe not be even telling y'all this story because this is, like, really for real. So, y'all, anyways, we outside, we tacking out the car. So, best friends, neighbors across the street, we ain't going to name them because y'all know them, but they, they was lit. They got the music going, so we we didn't tacked out the car. You know, we own one. We outside. We like, hey, we lit. We all girls. We having fun. We playing double dutch. We outside dancing and twerking. You know, turned up. We having fun. Mom, she on the stool with her little drink. We chilling. Oh, so all comes, y'all, down the street. 
on his bike with one of his partners. And we like, okay, so now you like kind of following us over here now. So it's like getting, like, it's crazy. And I'm just like, boy, I don't want to talk to you. Like, I don't like you. I'm not attracted to you. You're not my type. I don't want you like, leave me the fuck alone. For real, like it's getting kind of like you, whatever. And he rides up on me on a bike like, bitch, I'm packing. He got a black hoodie on y'all like and got his thing in his hoodie. And he like, girl, what the fuck are you talking to? And I'm like, um, boy, we not scared of you. <laughs> I was a high hand. I probably was really scared, but I'm not finna let no dude or nobody shake me down. So I'm like, boy, put your little whammy up like you doing too much. So older cousins see it and older cousins like, these are girls. And if she don't want to talk to you, then she don't want to talk to you, bro. Like, what are you doing? Like, and ain't you talking to Peaches anyway? And that's her friend and we don't rock like that over here. So you need to get the fuck up out of here. Like, boy, you doing too much. And like, little young ass nigga, I will whoop on you. So cousin is like, I'm my older cousin. Her name Tina. And Tina is like, I'm finna get on you. Like, get up out of here. So Jamal got his hand on his thing in his hoodie and he like, bitch, I don't give a fuck. Da -da 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 -da. And I'm just like, okay, like, bro, you doing too much. Like you coming over here, you starting stuff. Like you just doing too much. And mom's on the stoop. Like, um, my best friend, mom on the stoop. And she like, hey, little young dude, like, you know, they girls, you know, like just let them be, you know, go do your thing. You know, so many pretty girls out here. You're gonna find somebody. Like, you know, like go call peaches. <laughs> like like okay so my y'all fast forward him and peaches was really bumping on each other because she got a whole baby by him right now to this day the baby like the little boy like 10 so clearly y'all was doing more than just talking to each other so i don't know why he was bugging me but leave me alone boy like okay so y'all i guess he really got mad and this is the thing like these dudes really be crazy when you turn them down like it, it when you turn a guy down, it shuts their ego down, I guess. So he was like really mad. So mind you, I told y'all, he had a wham in his hoodie. So really, we was like really talking crap to him. So it go, he leave, he like, all right, I'm finna go. He's like, you, this not the last that you seen of me though. And we like, boy, get up out of here, boy. Don't nobody care about you. Like, da, 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 da. Like, you know, we young, we hot heads, we going bad. And I don't know, I'm a little ratchet, best friend ratchet. And we got all our girls outside. So at this point, everybody going bad on him. Like, boy, if you don't get up out of here. And mind you, our neighbors, they lit. They daddy come outside. And the daddy like, hey, little nigga, get up out of here. What is you doing? Like, this ain't the place for you, man. Don't come around here no more. It's going to be problems. Pops, why you had to come outside and start some stuff with this crazy dude? Mind y'all, like I told y'all, he, he crazy. Jamal was really crazy. So y'all, okay, some time go by and we like, okay, we finna get back in the car. We finna, you know, tack the car out again. Mom Duke, she go in the house. She don't even know we in the car. Like, ah, nah, my mama, best friend mama. So, you know, y'all know how it was. Like, when you have best friends, like... You can do a little more at their house than you can do at your own house. <laughs> so, my mama, she probably gonna kill me, but I'm just saying. <laughs> so, mind y'all, we get in a car. Like I said, if it wasn't for this Benz, though, this Benz really saved our life, though, y'all. Like, for real. We get in a car. We fire up. Why did this boy Jamal come back around the corner and light the car up? Like, da -da 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 up with us in it so mind you who's in the car at the time my cousin in the car make sure y'all catch our never have i ever that cousin is in the car in the back seat so i'm responsible for her already at this time best friend in the car i'm in the car cousin tina in the car and one of the neighbor girls we all in this car y'all and he is lighting this car up so, mind you, our neighbors, the daddy come outside. Da -da -da -da, like, getting back at, bro. Like, but he on a bike, y'all. Like, he on a bike. He slid through on, on us on a bike. He slid through on us on a bike. How did he get away on a bike? I don't know. But he was so quick on that bike, boy. Like, they got the clapping at him. His bullets flying everywhere, y'all. Like, I'm just thinking, God, like, real talk, no cap. Like, this is really a true, based on a true story. This really happened to me, bro. Like, Sometimes I really be having nightmares because this is really crazy. That's why I don't sit in a car. 
and smoke or none of that no more or I don't pump gas at gas stations no more because the things I've been through like this really was really traumatizing because if it wasn't for that Mercedes Benz and them bulletproof windows who knows because we in the car he's shooting so the car facing this way y'all frontwards he's shooting at the back of the window I'm in the back seat with my cousin and best friend oh no I'm in the back seat with my cousin um in the in, in our homegirl from across the street best friend and cousin tina in the front so he clapping at the back windows like he knew i was in the back of that car y'all like oh my god like oh my god like i'm getting frustrated and it's just it's it's like bringing back you know trauma y'all talking about this because this is really serious but um yeah like it was really crazy so he get off like so at this point everybody coming outside whipping out on everybody like hey y'all seen that what happened what happened what happened so he didn't spray the car up to the point where y'all like i said the windows is bulletproof bulletproof windows basically are windows on a car that have like thick thick layers so there's like three thick layers of a window so you really got to have like basically like an AK shoddy to get through a window like that. Not even that, right? You got to have like magic powers to get through a bulletproof window, my boy. Like by God's grace, when I say God was on our side though, like real talk, God was looking out for us, man. Because he was like letting that clip rip on us in that car. But none of us got hit, y'all. We all safe and sound, y'all, to this day. I mean, we all in different directions, you know, at this exact moment. But y'all, it's really crazy. So best friend moms come outside like oh my god my baby like uh y'all we in a car so mind y'all inside the car what's going on inside this car we get down we on the floor we like oh 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 like i'm telling my cousin like lay down like I, you can't get hit because uncle tommy gonna kill me <laughs> like get down on the floor i'm gonna say my cousin like I'm like, I got to save her first because that's the type of person I am. I'm going to save my people first because, you know, I'm going to go out like a savage. You feel me? <laughs> I used to lit channel when we stayed lit. I'm going out lit, though. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I was crazy back then. I might still be a little cuckoo, too. But what's going on inside this car, y'all? Of course, we in this car, like, screaming, like, ah, like, oh, my God, everybody get down. Like, yo, we almost burnt ourselves. We got a blunt burning. The seats start burning inside the car because, obviously, in the process, I can't tell y'all really who had the blunt in their hand because I just don't remember that part. But the blunt in like the seat is going, is like burning in the front seat of the car. But we are on the floor in this car, y'all. And bullets are raining on this car. <sighs> y'all, it's crazy. Like, mind y'all, I'm just telling y'all this. Don't be a hothead. If you young and you watching this, girl, go in the house. Your mama be calling you to tell you to go in the house for a reason. Stay your little hot self, tail self in that house, okay? y'all so like i said moms come outside ah oh, my babies my babies where my gun at da, 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 da. and we and like pulls the door open y'all i kid you not that back door when she opened that back door the window shattered the window didn't shatter from the bullets though the windows shattered from moms pulling the door open hella fast so when i say them windows saved our lives them windows saved our lives y'all like for real and I'm really serious. Like, I've been through a lot of traumatic situations in my life. And this is one of them. And I'm just glad that we all made it out of that situation. And we all are here today to tell the story and to fight another day. Because this was crazy. So, that day happened, y'all. And, unfortunately, time went on. We never seen him do it again. I think he went back to jail because everybody seen him. Everybody knew it was him. I ain't snitch. I don't know who's snitch. I ain't got nothing to do with me, not all. But it was neighbors. It's cameras on the street. Like, I don't know. And I can't say that he necessarily went back to jail for that, y'all. But I know, like, maybe... Of course, he laid low after that, right? But I just know, like, a couple weeks later... Excuse me. He had went to jail. And I heard about it. Because, mind y'all, like I said, he bumping on my friend Peaches. So I tell Peaches, like, hey, yo, dude, woo, 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 And she like, well, guess what? I'm pregnant. He's my baby daddy, so y'all got to get along. And I'm like, well, you really my good friend, and that's your baby daddy? Just keep that nigga away from me because he going to get touched if we see him again. <clears throat> we, they're ready to lay him down, but we can't find him. Like, unfortunately, I'm just saying, like, you did what you did. It's consequences for the things that you do out here in these streets. Like, it didn't, and yeah. So, fast forward, um, 
my friend Peaches, she got pregnant. She got a baby, little Neff. Um, and y'all, dude went to jail and he got out. And unfortunately, when he got out, he had so many other situations and he lost his life to a different situation. So he not here. And I don't know to say it like that, but it could have saved my life, bro. So I don't know. And situations is unfortunate. I don't have nothing to do with that. That don't got nothing to do with me. God rest that Jamal soul. But that's my story time, y'all. <laughs> Watch out for these dudes, y'all, because they really be crazy. They be cool, cool in the mind, <laughs> y'all. And this is also, let me say this, too. This story is also just telling y'all how crazy dudes really are. So to all my females, be careful, because it may not, have been, may not be a dude that you curve, right? That could be crazy. And make sure if you curving a dude, let him down softly, sis, okay? Be careful. And if you read listening to this and you writing a dude in jail, make sure you like use a fake address or something. Get a P.O. box or something, girl. Cause these dudes, they really be stalking. And they be stalking dudes that's in jail because they see them love letters that the other dude get. Then they may not be getting a love letter. Now they want a love letter. So now they gonna steal your address too. So y'all be careful, okay? When you write, if you writing somebody in jail, like I'm just telling y'all, don't shoot the messenger. Be careful, y'all, and to all my ladies, be careful because these dudes, they really be crazy over females. And this is just a story to let y'all know that it's dudes out here that really do this. Like, these dudes really be trying to shoot at girls or beat girls up because they be turning them down or don't want to be with them no more. So y'all be careful, and y'all. Make sure y'all watch y'all back. And the lesson that we learned from here is don't talk a lot of shit but you should talk a lot of shit to defend yourself but you know if somebody got a a, a a whammy bitch is a bang bang chop chop on you just be like girl go somewhere run because when we knew that he had his whammy on him we should have took our little fat selves in the house we should have been like okay y'all we see y'all later party over and we should have went up in the house but instead we like oh he gone we still gonna turn up and we gonna party no because maybe that day right if we would have went in the house, that whole situation may or may not have happened, right? Because who knows? Because it could have happened on a different day. But I'm just saying, like, at that time, it could have may or may or not have happened, right? So what if we were hurt, right? We could have avoided that whole situation by what? Taking our fast tail stuff back in that house. We trying to be tacking the car out. We should have been tacking the house out. <laughs> Or the backyard or in the house. We shouldn't have been tagging anything out really at that point. I'm just saying. I'm just I'm just saying. But anyway, y'all, so that's my story. And I'm telling my story. Uh, and I hope everybody doing good. And y'all know this the lit channel. Cause I'm bold, y'all bold, and we gotta stay lit. And, and I hope y'all enjoyed this story time. And yes, Jamal is crazy. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel and make sure I give this video a thumbs up, y'all. And y'all know to stay on the channel. Be bold and stay lit. Ow. And it's your girl Telly T. And y'all know to stand. Don't let nobody dim y'all life for nothing. You know why? Let your light shine bright. Because when your light shine bright, the haters they gon' hate and they gon' continue to hate and they gon' hate on you regardless. She might as well do you in the process. And that's all I gotta tell y'all. Stay tuned for another video. Mm, 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 mm. Ah, 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 ah. I'ma see y'all later. Hope y'all like my cute little hair. So, bye. Stop confusing lust and love, y'all. Like lust is just a regular like little feeling. Like okay, I like you, but that's it. Like when you lust somebody or they lust you, you can tell.